Salutations! Welcome to Love and the Language of Literacy. My name is Sophia Lee, and today I'm here to discuss week four of my journey to the dark side. Quick backstory. I'm actually filming this after I filmed the very last my journey to the dark side. That's why you haven't seen it, because I wanted to upload these in order. If you're wondering about the different background, I'm actually in Sweden right now for my parents' work, and I did not get the chance to film this beforehand. This is probably going to be the quickest progression of playwriting yet, just because of course, poetry class was absolutely amazing as usual, but it wasn't quite as detailed in terms of what I can discuss because it was just a poem and critiques like usual. Quick PSA first, my poetry teacher Georgia Popoff has a new book that is releasing I believe on June 16th or the next June, which would be like June 21st, 22nd, something like that. And she would appreciate it so much if you just checked out some of her work, some of her books. Just if you checked her out in general because she is an amazing writer, an amazing poet, and an amazing teacher. And I'm so glad to have got the chance to learn from her. Her new book is called An Agnostic's Guide to Common Courtesies. And what's really cool is that she's going through poem by poem of her book and reading aloud on YouTube. And she has it on YouTube channel and it's just really cool to, he to hear from her own voice as she's written the poems. And if you want to follow her on any social media, she has Twitter, YouTube, a blog, and it's all Gap Poet, which is her initials and poet, obviously. Today a girl named Sophie brought on the prompt, and it wasn't actually supposed to be a prompt because another girl was supposed to bring it in, but she wasn't there this week, so we got Sophie's instead, and it was actually really fun. She brought on this song called Waving Flag, which is actually the song slash anthem for the FIFA World Cup, I believe, last year. I could be wrong about this, but it was for the FIFA World Cup some year, and it was just super empowering. So what Georgia turned this into was for everyone writing an anthem, and I personally did not like this at first because I'm really not a positive poet, like in terms of just pumped up, inspirational, very much a free verse poem. And rhythm and rhyme kind of scares me because I personally have not developed the ability to do it without it sounding tacky. I was actually very timid about this poem because it was first of all very personal to me and second of all it really wasn't in my opinion an anthem and it turned out that none of ours was the anthem I was personally thinking about because a lot of it was just um, a powerful message. I'm just going to read the poem and that's pretty much it for my journey to the dark side. To those who miss what can't be home. Day by day you feel the same. Sometimes those days are wretched, sometimes exalted. But that is the way it has always been. It is only when you are reunited with the sly grins and remembered references that you know you have finally moved on, a phrase you never believed in. There will always be the scent of stale water on fighting to be green grass. The euphoria of nighttime air clinging onto skin as heads are stuck out of car windows like the dogs you are missing. It is only when you are reunited does the gossip of transients become relevant. When dragged back into the currents of what you thought you would always know, you realize sanctuary under the surface was an incubator, accompanied by the baby blanket of routine familiarity. Though you left on terms that were not your own, being reunited serves as confirmation that being catapulted through the rose-colored glass could have been the best thing that ever happened. Look back, it's not the same. It can't be. Because home is what you left to come back to. So as you can see, it's not exactly what you would think of when you're talking about the anthem or rhythmic poem. And I actually really like this because it's kind of on a personal level that I haven't yet brought up in poetry. It's because the weekend before, I had gone back to California for an old family friend's bar mitzvah. So even though he lives in like central California, it was still, I could be driving down the street and it looked like my old neighborhood. It looked like places that I'd driven by a thousand times. The emotions that were washing over me were just so weird. And that's what I kind of tried to capture with this, especially with the line, which everyone liked, and I was so happy that they liked it, um, because home is what you left to come back to, because I left Syracuse to come to California, which used to be my home, but I had to leave my home to come back to something that wasn't my home anymore. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of this poem, what you would have done with Anthem Prompt, if you're gonna go and follow Gap Poet. Anyways, keep calm, read on, and I'll see you in a video soon. Goodbye!